Okay guys, let's talk about a really simple yet never discussed way to raise old official LEGO modular builds to be flush with the new LEGO roadplay system, especially when using a Mills fashion like we do throughout our city. This will not require any modifications to your existing modulars, it uses all genuine LEGO parts, and you won't need to build any elaborate core structures. So when looking at standard road plates, especially using a mill system that a lot of builders use, including us, you can see that there is a street level, which is the new LEGO road plate system launched in 2021, sitting on plates. This is done to raise the road slightly to allow the side bricks to be added to the same height. This adds additional details to the street. We have a bunch of free tutorials on this throughout our entire YouTube channel, but this system allows for some very creative and intricate road work. So we really think it makes your city stand out and that's why we love it. So the road is essentially one brick high and then come the sidewalks and the curbs that are created using plates on top of bricks finished with tiles and landscaping to create extra detail. If you were to place this next to a traditional Lego modular, they would not be the same height. And even if you place the road plates directly on a base plate, you'd still run into the same issue. There would be a height difference. One method that I constantly see online is people either building the modulars on a custom base, usually a base plate with bricks, then plates on top, then they start the modular build, kind of like you see here, you know, with the police station. But honestly, this just really isn't the right way to do it either. We build all of our buildings this way to start, at least, you know, all of our custom builds, like the Skyloft, but what if your modular was already built? Well, this is why it is an issue. Are you really going to risk prying it off the base plate to transfer it over to your new base? You could easily destroy the building and you risk a long and lengthy rebuild. Luckily, there is a very simple solution. First, take a base plate. Next, add standard bricks and space them out. We often use 2x4s, but you can also use 2x2s as seen here. Just make sure they are spread out and you use a good amount of them. Here is a common layout that we use, so if you want to pause the video and build this for yourself, go ahead and do so. Next, place the old modular on top, base plate included. That's right, you do not need to remove the base plate and you do not need to alter the base in any way. Well, voila! It is now the same height as the rest of your city. The best part is that it's also really easy to remove and rearrange buildings since you didn't build this onto a new permanent base. Keep in mind this can also work for road plates that don't use the mill system or that are built directly onto base plates. You'll just need to adjust the height of the bricks under your modulars by swapping them for plates and adjusting the height accordingly. Well guys, I hope this helps. I know it's a common question and I see it in threads all the time online. Um, if you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you don't already do so. We hope this saves you a ton of time in your own city because we use this method all the time. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next video.